Okay, I set this up really, really easily. At home with Lucas here. So today we're gonna to be talking about all power 600 watt monocrystalline portable solar panels. Yes, people, I finally got my hands on some proper 600 watt solar panels. And these aren't just normal solar panels that you carry around one by one and throw them on the ground and get some solar. These things are all packaged into this really nice briefcase you can literally hold in your hand. They weigh 27.5 pounds, so you're not gonna be breaking your back to move these things around. Not to mention the fact that this thing literally unfolds out of the case as if it's a transformer. So the panels just literally unfold and they're perfectly stitched together, really strong with padding. So the whole thing folds back together and has its own padding so it's not gonna get damaged. Not to mention the fact that the solar panels are very durable. These things can take high heat and really, really cold colds and still pull in a massive amount of solar. These things are 23% efficient. That means they're going to charge up your devices much faster. So your portable power station is gonna charge up much faster than other 600 watt panels out there. So there's two different types of panels. There's the fast charging and the slow charging. These are the fast charging. And of course, these things are IP67 waterproof. So you don't have to worry about leaving these things out in the rain. They're gonna take the rain, they're gonna take the snow, they're gonna take the heat and keep on charging. So whether you're just thinking about going on a little adventure where you need some solar panels or you wanna try to get your house off the grid, this is definitely the way to start. You start off with portable ones that you can put in random places, learn where you have the best sun, learn what you want out of your solar experience, and then go ahead and upgrade from there. So in this video, we're doing a hands-on with the box, quick unboxing and first impressions on said solar panels. After that, I'm gonna be putting these bad boys to the Atom Lucas test to figure out, are they something you should buy or maybe skip altogether? I'm here for you, so I have to waste your time buying and returning. All right, let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, this is how it comes in the box. All powers, AP. Let's go ahead and get inside this box and take a closer look. All right, and that's how it comes in this carrying case right here. Looking really cool. I like the reflective bar across it. That's really nice. It's got some really good clips right there. We're going to take a closer look, a handle at the top. So let's go ahead and get inside this and take a closer look at the panels. All right, look at that. It literally transforms. So the case is a part of the solar panels, which is really awesome. On the back side of that part of the case is a bunch of uh, equipment that's in a bag, which is really cool. But let's go ahead and take a closer look. So this is absolutely amazing. Um, it's totally protected by this fabric all over the back. The whole back of it is this cushioned, it's really cushioned uh, fabric. So this is gonna be interesting to see how I'm, I'm gonna go about setting these up. Um, so I'm gonna have to figure out, there's little loops right here all over the place. Um, there's nothing, there's no kickstand or anything, which is interesting. So yeah, so this is gonna be interesting to see how they want this to be set up. I'm gonna have to read the instructions for sure to figure out how this is gonna be set up, but that is really cool. And it literally, like origami, it folds back down. This folds in half here. And then this folds in half again, right like that. And then this folds in half again. And now you're at the front where the two clips are. So they really made sure that this was gonna be something that you could pop out really fast and put away really fast. I really like that a lot, that's awesome. All right, here we go. This is our first use. We're over 200. It was up to 300 and something. And I just loosely have these things laid out. And that is our sun. We got clouds coming and going. And I had to prop it up a little bit. Um, you don't really have to do that. You can lay these pretty much flat, but I just figured I'll give a little bit of a prop up. And even with the clouds, we're way over my other solar panels, 214 with clouds, <laughs> that is amazing. And it's just gonna climb 
there it goes. It's just gonna keep climbing when the sun gets full. So we're at 69% right now. We'll check back in a little bit. Okay, I went ahead and recorded a bunch of this charging. Uh, this is sped up to eight times the speed, but as you can see in the top left corner, it does get just over 400 several times. It never makes it into 500. And this is basically on a cloudy day that has big gaps of full sun and then clouds and then sun and clouds. So it's a very good mixed day and you're still getting almost 500 watts, which, which is really, really good. So that is definitely something that I'm impressed with and happy with. And on, of course, full sun days, we get over 500 watts, which we'll see in a little. Okay, that is the sky right there. You can barely see the sun. Let's go ahead and check the generator. See what we're getting. Wow, we're actually getting 109. That's pretty amazing for basically full clouds. That is awesome. Still in the same spot. Yeah. Okay, here's the next day. I got these propped up a little bit with some Christmas uh, decorations. Uh, we have some pretty good sunlight. It looks like we're gonna get some really clear skies today. So let's see if we can hit 600 watts. Okay, we never actually hit 600 watts, but we got pretty close on the front lawn. So there's 479, 499 right there, uh, just almost to 500, and 499 once more. So that was a pretty good full Sunday right there. Okay, I set this up really, really easily. There's little loops on each corner. And then in the middle, and I just literally put four screws on the top, and then I put two screws on the bottom. That way when the wind comes, it won't whip it around. And then I'm gonna run my cables into my backyard. But there you go, this is a more permanent way to set up your solar panels. And of course, I can just pop that off in a matter of seconds and fold it up and put it away, which I'll do probably every night, but that's a pretty simple way to set this thing up to get a lot more solar. So let's go ahead and plug it in, see how much juice we're actually getting. Okay, it's pretty cloudy right now, but there's the cables running this way into my generator. Okay, this is quite amazing. These are literally covered in the shade, as you can see there, and we're still pulling in some watts. So that is absolutely amazing. That is the power of these bad boys right here. The sun literally has not even crest the panels yet, and we're still pulling in some juice. So that is why you buy these panels versus other panels out there. Also, I should mention that they're doing really, really good. They actually sat out here all night. They haven't moved at all. They haven't had any problems. We did have some decent winds too, and yet everything is really, really solid. So these are definitely portable and definitely some you can just pop up wherever you are. You could just bring some nails or use the carabiners. Okay, we basically maxed out just about 500 watts. Let's go and check the sun right here. So that is probably going to be the best it's going to get all day um, and it's also almost fully charged my generator so it, my generator is going to shut off so I won't get any more reading um, but because it's not in an angle so they really want these to be at an angle so if you are going to do it like this you may max out at about 500 watts which is still really good 600 watts is the max 500 is what I hit so that's not terrible at all and like I said, that is the brightest sun we're gonna get all winter long, um, but that's pretty cool. Okay, it is freezing cold out here. It's four degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, the wind chill and the wind effect and all the accumulation is minus 14 right now. And these solar panels are still charging away. You can see right here, we're pulling in almost 500 watts of pure solar power. The cold does not affect these solar panels whatsoever.
talk about one of the most underrated features of this bad boy right here is the zipper pocket. So this pocket is absolutely amazing. You can really put a huge amount of cables in here. I put these in here in a matter of seconds. We even got a little bit of grass tucked in there with it, um, but that's really cool. And this is actually where the cables go in to the solar panels right here. So it's kind of important uh, to have this area here. And then what you do is you can either just leave this completely open, run your cables, or you can do what I did, which is zip it up partially. and then just have your cable come out the side and go plug it in. And then you can really tighten it down real tight. So it's just a little bit of cable sticking out, making this really clean and nice. It also adds a little bit more cushion for the whole thing. So definitely happy with this storage pouch right here. You could put a lot more stuff in here. It doesn't have to just be cables, but that's what I found to be the best. Okay, I've been using these solar panels for long enough that I think I have a full star rating. Let's just start off with this carrying case right here. This thing's absolutely amazing. When I first opened it up, I was totally blown away. I was expecting panels to be sort of set in there and you just pulled them out and kind of plugged them together. No, this is a true all-in-one carrying case and bad ASS solar panel rig. This is so awesome. I love the fact that you can literally just lay it out in a field if you wanted to or you could simply uh, connect it to your car or your RV or your house or like I did straight to your fence. The ability to pull in solar from this on cloudy days is next level. I was totally blown away. We get a lot of cloudy days here and to have power coming in when you shouldn't was really, really awesome. And then of course on sunny days getting just over 500 watts in the winter people. So this is not summer solar, this is winter solar. It is a little bit different. All in all, I'm gonna give these things a solid 4.95 for a travel, go anywhere, plug in anywhere solar panel. Definitely worth your time, worth your money. Buy them. All right, there you go. That's the all power 600 watt solar panels. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely click to clack that like button. And if you wanna join the Adam Lucas family and you wanna be a part of this crew, smash that subscribe button and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.